Hi everyone, Phil here. Lately I've been getting comments uh, on my videos on probability and so I thought I'd start to produce some more videos on them. So work solutions, beginning with this one, is going to be problem one. So prove this, then this. Let's interpret what this says before we do anything. This kind of saying, suppose this event being not B happens then A is more event A is more likely to happen. And if that is true then this is is true. That is if A happens then B will be less likely to happen. So I'm going to show you it two ways and let's just talk about the structure of this question. This question is of a form one statement. Let's call it uh, P right not probability, just P for proposition, implies Q. This is kind of notation you use in logic. So P here is this whole statement, implies means then this statement. So something like this, another way to write it, if P is true, then Q is true. Right? These two are the same thing. When you've got such a question, we can do it like two ways. You can start off with the P statement and work on that to get to Q or you could start on this end so just start on with a bit of Q and then use some information from P to get this whole statement Q so let's do it um, the second way let's suppose let's start on this guy first alright so method one. Oh, by the way I'm going to use these three uh, comment about two and three is this is a conditional probability version of this? Oh, wait a second. Not C, right? So this this is conditional probability version of this guy. I've just used event C and D instead of A and B, so it doesn't kind of clash. Okay, so I'm going to start off. Get this inequality. I'm going to start off with the left-hand guy because I know something about formulas for conditional probability being this one. So start off with this guy. This is equal to this by 3 and then this guy I can break down its conditional probability just using this and this so that gets me this now why have I done this in red it's time to think about how I can use this right why I've done this in red is suppose that red thing, this whole red is actually equal to 1, then 1 minus this guy will be equal to probability of B using 2. Now this structure is the same as this structure where K is some number. I want to compare this for different values of K to 1 minus X. Right, so when is it equal? It's equal if K is equal to 1, right? When you do, when I'm doing this thing, k is that thing there. What about if k? So there's three cases: three bigger than one, and k less than one. Well, if k is bigger than one, and this quantity is bigger than this quantity, and you're doing one minus a bigger thing than this, so then this difference must be bigger than that, and then this will be the opposite. But then we'll go over here and look at our case. Well is this equal to 1, bigger than 1, or less than 1? This is my k. Well, look up here. Take the probability of a down, supposing probability of a is not 0, then that is bigger than 1. So this is bigger than 1. So which case are we? We have this case. So then we've got this inequality. Less than 1 minus probability not b. But that's the same by two are saying probability of B and that is how I've got my inequality right here this so here I've used a fact so by two and the fact given done now let's go to method two method two means we're going to start off with this is given so we're going to start work on this inequality and do something to it to get it over here Notice that we've got a not B here, and these are B's, not uh, not not B's, all right, if you know what I'm saying. So I want to get this uh, complement on the B. I want to get rid of it. 
and so I'll be somehow using this or this. All right, so we start off with the statement, this inequality. I want to somehow get so that I've got b given a. So I want to somehow use 1. Multiply both sides by probability of not b. Then you can see by 1, this is the same as this statement. See, the intersection is always a good way to get us going from whenever we want, let's just do it over here, whenever we have a statement like c over d and we want to somehow get it so it's over d over c times something, the uh, intermediary step is always to write it so you've got c and d, all right? Then you can apply 1. So that's what I'm doing here. So I've got that. I can rewrite it now with not b given a. So compare this, a given not b to not b given a now. So I've got that through the intermediary step of this intersection. And uh, yeah, this is equal to 1 minus probability of b by 2. Now, supposing that probability a is not 0, these kind of elementary questions you always have to assume that, all right? They cancel. And then just rearrange, take probability b to the left hand side. I add up probability b to both sides and subtract this from both sides. I have this. But this by 3 is that. Done. Which one did you prefer? Let me know. So we've just shown that from this statement, if this is true, then this is true. So if this, then this is true. Now, I claim, guys, it works the other way. If this is true, then this is true. In other words, we can go like this. If this is true, now then this is a proposition, now then this is the conclusion, then this is true. Instead of writing this, that's the same as that double arrow. All right, so this is like it. We say if and only if. This is true if and only if this is true. So that's an exercise for you. Just follow the exactly similar steps to what I've done, really. So start from here and go over there. And also, I claim that then this, if this is true, and it's just using the same methods, you can just try it, then this is true. Then it's more natural to compare this one to this one, not as in the question, this one with that one, because it's a not here, and then it's not not there. Um, so. I don't even like the not here. We can write it more generally. Let me do it more clearly, guys. This is a, a kind of a useful result. So intuitively, this says that if one event happens, the other event is more likely to happen. So there's some kind of like a positive relationship there. Okay, guys, I'm done with that. So like, comment, share.